cheerful tune drifted through Carousel Boutique. It blended with a soft jingle of wind chimes outside. Brightly colored bolts of clothing sparkled in the sunlight as it scattered through the store's glass windows. Finely dressed mannequins stood silently in audience to the song like a crowd of sophisticates at an opera. In the middle of it all, seated upon a comfortable red cushion, Rarity hummed while she worked. The white unicorn made careful use of her hooves, teeth, and magic to work the needle through the yellow fabric of a spring dress. Garnet studs came in place along the hem, and she planned to decorate the clasp with a fiery ruby. Rarity's humming subsided as she heard a hoof knock against the front door. Is that you, Twilight? She called, stowing her work away. Do come in. The door opened as Twilight Sparkle stepped inside. Thank you for letting me drop in like this, Rarity she said, taking care to wipe her hooves on the welcome mat before stepping into the boutique proper. I know you've been busy lately. Oh, nonsense! Rarity replied, helping her friend hang her saddlebags near the door. I always have time for my friends. The white unicorn then trotted lightly off towards the kitchen. What kind of tea would you like, dear? Twilight smiled gratefully. Anything is fine. Thank you. A few minutes of running water, rattling pots, and finally whistling kettles ensued before Rarity returned, levitating two steaming cups before her. The two unicorns each found themselves a perch of cushions and pillows and got comfortable. So? Rarity said, stirring a lump of sugar into her cup. What brings you to my humble abode? Twilight took a careful sip. Ooh, this tea is delicious. You like it? It's a special little blend you can only get in Cantalot. There's a darling little tea shop. Rarity stopped herself, unwilling to let Twilight sidetrack her. The lavender mare grinned sheepishly. Okay, okay, you caught me. I didn't come here to talk about tea. She took another sip. It really was good tea, though. I came here because, well, I think I have a crush. Stars glistened in the corner of Rarity's eyes. Oh, Twilight, that's marvelous! Tell me about her. Well, I... Uh... Twilight began before blinking a couple of times. Wait, why do you just assume it's a her? Rarity gave an airy laugh. Darling, I don't know how subtle you think you've been, but you've had Philly Fooler written all of your face since day one. Twilight's cheeks flushed dark red. Rarity! She hissed. Not in my crude language, of course. She added, taking a sip from her cup. But it's true. Since you've arrived in Boinville, I don't think I've heard you say more than three words to any stallion that wasn't your brother. Twilight set her teacup down and stood up. Never mind, she said, turning towards the door. Oh, sit down, will you? I'm only teasing, Rarity said. Twilight paused, then gave an exasperated <sighs> sigh and sank down onto the pillows. That's it, dear. You came here to tell me about this crush of yours because you and I both know I can help. Rarity brought her cup to her lips but froze. Unless... Dear Celestia, it isn't me, is it? Twilight rolled her eyes. No, Rarity, I don't have a crush on you. The white unicorn breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, <laughs> not that I wouldn't appreciate your affections if it were, mind you. I just would like to believe that you're bright enough not to go barging into a pony's home and just say it. That would be far too forward. Rarity's eyes fixed himself to some point beyond the walls of the boutique. No. You need to start with something like an innocent invitation to a friendly dinner date. We would talk and laugh over our salads and wine, and then we would take a detour through the park as we walked back home. As the sky above us glow with the time of day that is your namesake, you would lean in close and whisper- Okay! <laughs> Twilight interrupted, laughing nervously. I'm going to pretend I heard none of that. Rarity coughed into her hoof. <laughs> Besides, Spike would be just devastated. A long, awkward silence filled the room. So, is it in the pony I know? Twilight nodded. Yes, you know her very well. Rarity clapped her hooves on the tiles in excited glee. I knew it was a her! The purple unicorn shot an annoyed glare at her friend. Rarity folded her hooves under her and focused her attention on the tea. Go on. Twilight took another sip. Well... It started when I realized she'd always been there for me. No matter where I went, there she was. Rarity gasped. <gasps> Pinkie Pie? She squeaked. Twilight cocked her eyebrows. No, oh, never mind then. <laughs> so, you're close. Oh, yes, very close. Twilight continued. We hang out together all the time. 
A big grin spread across Rarity's face. I always thought you and Rainbow Dash would make the most adorable couple. It's not Rainbow Dash, Twilight said flatly. Really? Rarity rubbed her chin with her hoof. I could have sworn, hmm. Rarity tried to sip thoughtfully from her cup, but found it completely empty. Tell me, does this lucky mare suspect anything? Is she aware that she has stolen my dear Twilight's heart? Oh, I think she knows, Twilight said, twirling a hoof against the floor. I don't think I could hide anything from her if I tried. Is it Fluttershy? No. You're absolutely positive it isn't Rainbow Dash. It isn't Rainbow Dash! Applejack? Now you're just going through a list of all our friends! Rarity pouted. Well, I simply must know, darling. Tell me, who could have drawn the gaze of Twilight Sparkle? Twilight finished her cup of tea and set it carefully down on the floor. Well... A wind began swirling through the boutique. Thread and needles left the tables to dance in the air. The room was suddenly filled with a blinding light. When the light and wind faded, Rarity was faced with not one, but two Twilight Sparkles. The new Twilight wore an eye patch, and her mane was all frizzy. Rarity stammered. Twilight? What is going on? The Twilight without an eye patch stood up. Rarity, I am now dating myself. My future self, that is. Future Twilight gave her past self a playful nip on the ear. Oh, me. Past Twilight said, pushing Future Twilight away with her hoof. The eye-patched wearing mare grinned and spoke. I realized, hey, here's a pony who likes all the same things I do. She can keep up with me when I talk about my research, and I won't bother her if I snore. Rarity stood dumbfounded. I think you, uh, what? Past Twilight giggled. <laughs> Plus... The eye patch is pretty hot, don't you think? Rarity's eyes lost focus and she collapsed in a heap on the pillows. The two Twilights stepped out of the carousel boutique laughing. Future Twilight looked to her left with a smug expression on her face. In the bushes outside the window, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash stood staring, their jaws hanging nearly to the ground. That, she said to them, is how you do a real prank. In a flash of light and a gust of wind, Future Twilight disappeared. The remaining Twilight Sparkle held out her hoof. All right, girls, I won. Pay up. Pinky and Rainbow dug through their saddlebags and produced some bits. Twilight grinned as she began mussing up her mane. Oh, and Pinky, do you mind if I borrow one of your emergency eye patches? I need to help a friend settle a bet. 